Hey, welcome back to Cleaning Out Your Garden Beds, Volume 2. So you saw the before video of what the bed looked like, and now here's the clean up afterwards. I apologize for the hose going through it. Um, but what we did is we took our Annabelle hydrangeas all the way down because they were so overgrown, and there were so many weeds uh, in the garden that it made it difficult to get to. We also cut down uh, two giant lilacs and two giant conifers. Um, we're not 100% finished. I still have some ideas of maybe trimming this viburnum back a little bit. Um, and, I, you know, clearing out some of the debris and things that are around it. Pen over the other garden. <clears throat> Once again, cut down some overgrown trees. Added some shade-loving plants. We pruned up our Japanese maples and our boxwood to try to make give things a more neat and complete look. This Japanese maple was shaped like a ball or a mushroom before we started. But what I did is I went in and I really cleaned up overgrowing limbs or crossing limbs, I should say, uh, and freed it up for future and potential uh, growth. It's going to take a little bit of time, but within a year or two, this tree is really going to fill out. And if I had to do one more thing different, this this branch right here, I'm going to try to train it to move over, but it's already pretty solid. So what I'll do is I'll take this lead and I'm going to kind of tie this branch to another branch. And what that'll do is that'll allow the tree to spread out some more. Um, so anyway click on subscribe if you want to see more videos about the garden and the fish that we talk about thank you for uh, you know viewing and uh, I'll catch up with you guys later have a good one bye bye